the 2024 Paris Olympics just wrapped up. Well, at least I think it did. I don't really follow the Olympics. But today, I'm going to be basically doing my own custom Lego Olympics. Where I'm going to be trying to make the tallest minifigure and the heaviest minifigure. But there are going to be some rules for that. Like, obviously, I can't just stack up a bunch of bricks and then call it a minifigure. They have to be actual minifigure parts. And it will be down to the very plate, the very minute detail. And for the heaviest, I'm going to use a scale and just try my best. I can use big figs, all of that. But I can't just, like, add random pieces on it, obviously. But I can add a bunch of accessories and other stuff. And I'm really excited because I have um, amassed a pretty cool collection of different types of minifigures that I think will work well for this challenge. Yeah, and there's going to be a special challenge at the end of the video. In the Avengers Tower, I have the Infinity Gauntlet with all, actually there's five stones, which I don't know what happened to the other one, but I can't currently find my Thanos pig fig to put this on, so I'm going to postpone this and try to find the tallest minifigure, and I think Doc Ock will be perfect for this. So, not only can I use this Doc Ock minifigure to obviously stand him up, I can adjust it in certain ways to make it as tall as he can, but I can add accessories to these bottom two hands to make it, like, boost him up to make him taller, as well as, um, accessories to these top two hands that would be, like, all the way over here to all the way here, or whatever you get the point, and at the end, I'm gonna see how tall in bricks he actually is. We'll add an image over here, which I kind of got inspiration. It was from the airport in Miami, where I got to measure myself. And I'm 160, I believe, 50, 60 uh, plates tall or bricks tall. So I'm going to do the same thing once I finish modifying this Doc Ock minifigure. I think I found the perfect object, which I can use trophies because they do give you a little bit of a um, height boost, but they also add a little bit of stability, which I don't really care about the taller we go, but I'm also going to add the most tallest in the top, but I do think these will add a lot more height to him. For reference, these big, um, one of these big, uh, one of my fours are three bricks tall, so together this is ten bricks tall, and I can stand him very sturdy at ten bricks tall. Honestly, not that tall. I feel like I can do a little better, but, uh, if I had a lot more parts, it's kind of all I have, and the rules are kind of a little bit weird, but I still think it's definitely way taller than a regular minifigure. If I had, like, one of those arms, I know the Stitch has them. I think Salma characters from Ninjago also have, like, four arms, so I could swap out the torso, and then I'd have four extra arms, and I could have, like, more connection points and stuff like that, but I honestly just don't have enough pieces Go back to the heaviest minifigure, which I would have, um, at least if you're careful, you would have spotted the sixth infinity stone somewhere in the video. So go rewind back and see if you can find it. I can't find is my Thanos minifigure though. Infinity Gallon is still pretty heavy, so I decided I would use a Sandman minifigure. And if you're wondering, oh, why did you not use this base for the tallest minifigure? Well, I actually measured them and they were the exact same height, so I might add this to the um, Sandman minifigure. And I'm also going to weigh it against the tallest minifigure to see if that actually adds a little bit weight of weight onto him. The tallest minifigure first, and it, um, Looks like it's about um, zero pounds, and then for the heaviest minifigure, it's still zero pounds. I said I'm gonna do length and accuracy with a stud shooter. So this is like some random guy from Turkey. I guess you can go whenever you're ready. It's off, and then hit the target, which is conveniently a clone trooper with a helmet hole. I guess the point is. Wait, wait. 